We're going to try as community members to to get an effort going to help pay for some of these services. If right. we can sit here and wallow in, in, in the way Divi is, or we can try to fix it. So one way to fix it, which I think is kind of low brain method is like, let's just tell people to buy it, you know, in our community. <laughs> right. And it's just not, Buy it's not even feasible, right? <laughs> like if everybody bought some, it would go up, but it, you'll go up for five seconds. That's exactly that what show sites thing, do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And so <laughs> what we need to do is like, we have a rock solid blockchain. We have features in our yes. blockchain that don't exist elsewhere. Vaulting is amazing. Now we've got other blockchains copying our way of doing vaulting. Good. Like that should be out there. And so we have those things. No, We're in this problem where you start a business and nobody knows about it. We need to tell the thing we need to do is to, you know, group together, get some funds going for marketing efforts. And I think we're going to, we're going to have a, we're going to have a blog post on it. Uh, we'll have a doubt proposal uh, for different marketing efforts, but we need to be gathering some, some change from everybody to, right. to participate in these services. There's not another way. Yeah. Um, so that's what we need. And, and, you know, yeah. ICOs did that in the right. beginning because everybody was searching for ICOs. Yeah. And what did everybody do? Everybody shilled everything to everybody else. Every friend that you had, you shilled it. I mean, I hate to say that because I hate the... If, since the day it. you've met me, yeah. you've known how much I me hate the, the, the word shill. I, I don't think it's idea. shilling if you're excited about something and you truly believe in it. You could call yeah. yourself a zealot or whatever you want to call yourself. Um, you could just say, you know, you're excited about something. If you're talking about something you're familiar with, that's a good thing. If you're shilling it just to trick somebody into something, see, I said trick, yeah. that's different. Yeah. I think we yeah. need marketing. We need marketing. We need it to be in the eyeballs of other people that are interested, or maybe they're not knowing yet that they're interested in such projects. We have to have two things going. We have to have marketing, and then we have to have usability, right? So that means some of those features that are coming, like side chains, They'll come out iterative, iteratively. Um, they all need to be promoted together. And the community has to be behind it. The community also has to use it. I'll do videos about it. We hope other people do videos about it. We hope those things get shared. That's where the excitement comes out. When we're excited about it, I know you're excited about it, Rob. I know, yep. Neegs, you're excited about it because we can see the inner workings of the engine. We've played with the inner workings of the engine. It's pretty exciting. Um, and I think that's okay. I think that kind of speak is good. That's right. But I think in, in reality, in a community, you have a very, very, very small part who is really involved, knows the technology, understand, looks into new, new options. Yeah. And then you have a very, very large part who doesn't know much, right? And, and very clearly, <laughs> and it's not interested to know about that. It doesn't mean that those people are dumb. Like some people yeah. are very smart, but they just, they just don't want to know about it. They don't have the time. It's not part of their passion. They have way too much other things to do. Many reasons, right? And it is uh, the larger past part of any community in any industry, right? And so that's, that's why we have to be able to reach those people. Those people, they rely on influencers other people talking about the project. And so we have to generate all that. And I think that's, that's the best path. And yep. with the exchange listing that we're looking into that we talked about last time, I think it's definitely um, coming back strong so that from the outside, we look like we're strong. Our new narrative is here with this new technology that will re we believe revolutionize uh, the way like interaction is made on blockchain and so i think that we really have a solid uh, offering and then we really need to get it to new people and that's the path yeah, yeah. <laughs>